It's been an interesting 2018 FIFA World Cup group stage and Banele, I think the biggest talking point has been VAR. Is video assistant referring good for the beautiful game? Well, it has been definitely the biggest talking point. I think it's a good thing for, for football. It can only get better. Yes, there has been like some dodgy decisions, but it can only be better. It's there to assist the referees. So yeah, it, can, it, would, it will make a difference going forward. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's work in progress, but there are some 50-50 decisions where the opinion of the referee matters. Yeah. And some people have, haven't been happy because the referee is going to take a good two minutes to go and review the incident by, by the side of the pitch. And when he comes back, he comes back with a decision that maybe 50% of the, of the fans, um, you know, don't really appreciate or they think is wrong. So I, I think it's work in progress. Let's give it a chance, but it hasn't really eliminated, you know, um, Referring errors. No, so I to don't speak. think there's a system that would ever eliminate errors, but yeah, we'll see what it hap what happens. All right, um, we know that France qualified for the round of 16 convincingly. They're playing Argentina, who've scraped their way through, and it took a last minute a winner from Marcos Rojo against Nigeria mm. for them to confirm a place in the last 16. These teams do battle now at this stage of the tournament. How do you see that one panning out? <sighs> yeah, usually teams that. Um, progress like scrappy teams they, they are the ones who usually do well in the knockout stages and the mm -hmm. ones that qualified convincingly usually disappoint in the knockout stages when you get to the knockout stages it's more of character it's more mm -hmm. of that in individual brilliance the players are tired now we're getting to the fourth game in one month so it's going to take a lot of, a lot from the players so all that comes into contention it's no more about that um, team spirit and all that you know, techniques and all that so it, it all gets down to that individual brilliance and I think France have the those kind of players and I think they'll see out um, Argentina 27 to 20. Mm. Before the tournament started I tipped France as one of uh, my tournament favorites. Actually I, I begged France to win the tournament so at 27 to 20 I'm taking them to beat um, Argentina. Mm. And the other match that is a source of much intrigue Portugal uh, do battle with uh, Europe. We know Europe I haven't considered in the last nine matches mm. and they're playing against Portugal which have which is a team that has Cristiano Ronaldo. He's scored four in his last three in the World Cup. Well, yeah, basically it's a good defense versus good attack. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and attack always wins when it comes to this. So I'll side with Portugal that they've got the players. Plus, uh, um, Uruguay won't have um, Jimenez and in defense is out. Mm. So, yeah, uh, um, Ronaldo can pounce there and we'll see. Definitely. I'm in agreement with you because Jimenez plays with uh, Diego Godin at Atletico Madrid. Yeah. So there's a great understanding in that centre-back pairing. Where with one of them not being available for selection on the day, yeah. anything can happen. I'm backing Portugal Especially to against yeah. Ronaldo. Spain against Russia. Well, for me, I don't want to dwell much on that one. I think it's an easy call. Spain will beat um, Russia. Russia, yes, they've done well against um, Saudi and Egypt, but you can only mm -hmm. win against those two teams. Against Uruguay, yes, they did raise some players, but they didn't come to party. So I think this is the end of the road for them. I'll give it to Spain at 6-10. to 10. Yep, the fairy tale is over for the hosts. Uh, so Spain are winning this one. I'm in agreement with you there. Uh, Croatia take on Denmark. Very, very tough game mm. there. The Europeans have really stepped up in this tournament. I think only Poland and Iceland that have disappointed. Mm. But most of the European countries have really stepped up. So that one, I can't really separate them. But I'll side with Croatia. Mm, they Just, played so well against Argentina. They played, Argentina. So, well, they against played so, Argentina. Yeah. so at 8-10, to 10, I'll side with Croatia. Actually, they, they qualified with a 100% record, right? Yeah. Winning yeah. all their three matches uh, so in the group stage. Taking one goal. Yeah, so I'm um, also backing Croatia so to win yeah, the tournament. We agree on all the, on, all the results. And I'll take the quad. I'll go for France at 27-20. to 20. I'll go for Portugal at 39-20. to 20. Mm -hmm. I'll go for Spain at 6-10. to 10, And I'll go for... Croatia at 8-10. to 10, And the whole quad adds up to 19-1. to 1. Wow. I'm also taking it. Um, so that's what we think. We agree, you know, for the first time ever, we agree on all the results. What do you think? Leave your comments below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself a copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 ready to nearest Hollywood Best Branch.